So hello people, welcome back to Anno 1800, and today we, I think we're gonna do something completely different. So I've heard that a lot of people had problems uh, with building up here in the Arctic. So I think I might do some form of, not a tutorial, but you know, help and tips this and pieces that we can genius. use to develop something here. So, when building up here, you need to consider or plan your city quite good, or your camp, or whatever it's called here. But the first thing is the canteen, and that provides us with pretty much the same thing as, as a marketplace in the other continents. So that is the first building. A competitor's island is under siege. That we will need. We probably would need some wood or woodcutter, sawmill, and stuff like that. But as you can see, they will uh, require a few things here. You cannot benefit from bonus on the other continent here. So let's build a few houses and see what happens here. And plan your buildings quite good. Because otherwise you will have problems. So here you go. A few people have moved in. People celebrate your leadership. And you will see this icon. Where it what says missing done? heat. And what that means is that they would need heat to actually provide... I mean a heater to provide with heating into buildings so otherwise they will not work uh, in order to do that we actually need a charcoal kiln okay so let's place that uh, right there that'll be just fine So we'll probably arrange this later. I will just show you here a good start. Uh, so they will provide us with charcoal, which we can burn. And they will get heat. And also the population here will get heat. They don't need it per se, but they will get sick. All the time and flu will spread and pretty much devastate the whole island here. Alright, and one charcoal kiln equals one heater. So you need just as many heaters as you have charcoal your leadership. kilns. And you can also see this uh, thing here on the ground. This is the heating pipes. So if you click on the heater here, you can actually see that, yeah, this square is not heated. But I only need one tile to touch the building and it will work all right so uh, i will just set up a small place here and i will be right back we can discuss that later all right so here we have set up a, a nice amount of tents is that tent uh, what are those called shelter okay so we set up a decent amount here that should be enough. And also I provided them with another one of these. So now we gotta feed these guys. So they're only getting the canteen. So pemmican, which is very easy to produce. Uh, just need a caribou hunting ground or a cabin here. And I actually picked a nice spot over here. So you pretty much need one of each, nothing major. And then we go with one of the veil whaling stations that we can place right there. But as you can see, it does not fit. So we can either fix this by moving this one step and have another one there. Uh, yeah, let's do that. What we could do. No, we could not do that. Okay, that's fine. D 
the other thing is that we we will need more buildings here anyway so what we could do is just place uh, one of these heaters uh, let's say around there Don't trust me it's the other way around and set up another of these charcoal makers right over there and that should be just enough and we can just place this oh we need to switch the road here a bit it's a bit messy here that's fine the people celebrate your leadership so we can pretty much place that right over there they will get heat as soon as that start working and then we just need the pemmican cookouts. Nothing major. All right. Now they are probably wanting uh, sleeping bags, yeah, and that will provide uh, them with even more heat, which will uh, in turn make them less vulnerable to flu. So to fix the flu, we need a ranger station. The people celebrate your leadership. And uh, yeah, let's place one to look there. After everyone. Uh, we're gonna every decline that gift. Right to change their minds. So there we go. So they act both as a hospital and they work as a fire station at the same time. So we'll have one of those there. And to get, in order to get sleeping bags, we need seal hunting, but we don't have that fertility a right over there. So what you need is one of those attack. small islands. Let's take a look here. Uh, here we go, a small island, and they have seal abundance. So you need to set up a very, very small camp. You don't have to provide them with a lot of stuff, just, just enough to make them able to those seal skin and import them over here all right so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back so okay I have uh, set up a small 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 encampment here providing them you with the seal skin moment. that we need uh, I'm not providing these guys with anything else rather than heat and they don't want any pemmican yet or anything else for that matter. No sleeping bags, no nothing. All right, so uh, we will just export a very small amount here of seal skin. So what I've did was I got a, where is it, a schooner. And this will definitely be enough a fire broke out. for that small amount. So uh, we don't need to do anything else more than that. So let's uh, let's just create that real fast here. The fire has been back from Cape Storm to Evergreen. Okay. So let's see seal skin. There we go. And just just like that. So the next thing we have to do is produce some sleeping bags so we will get that coming in here via export and then we need two goose farms and one sleeping bag factory and this is why I said that you could build another a third heater somewhere so you will provide them with heat because you will have some form of industry here anyway and you can actually see in the bottom that these require heat and that require heat requires heat also uh, so let's uh, let's build uh, two goose farms the people celebrate your leadership don't have to be any fancy stuff here Oh, by the way, you don't need to worry too much about these charcoal makers because you can actually claim a, quite a large bit of their land before they uh, decline in, in productivity. Is 
still waiting for materials. So there we go. That's now that is set set up. That's fine. Now uh, that will only produce heat for them. Maybe some money. Yeah, some money as well. Oh, here we go. And this is what happens when you don't have enough heat for them. So hopefully this will sort out itself. Now the, the, the last thing that they need are oil lamps. Which can be very annoying to build. Because you need to import brass. And then you need another whaling station. In order to produce the oil lamp factory. The whaling station is uh, no big issue whatsoever. Just place another one. And there we go. The oil factory itself. Yeah, the same goes there. Just plop it down and you're good to go. Now, we need to find some brass. And you have to import that through the old world. Or Cape Trelawney works just as well. And there's no a way around that. But when we are on the topic of the old world, there's these lifestyle needs, which is very easy to, to actually do this. And you can provide them with bread. You can also provide them with tallow. Tallow produces heat as well. As well as a, a few more explorers you can use to increase the amount of population you got here. And yeah, they will not pay any good money for this, but you will get more population. Sometimes and if you are already overproducing bread or tallow somewhere, about. just go ahead and send a ship to this place. They will not consume a large amount, so if you uh, export, I mean import 50 tons each via a clipper, that should be enough for this place. Nothing major at all. So I will uh, actually do that right now. And I will also get some uh, brass coming in here. So I'll see you guys in a minute or two. So here we go with the first brass coming in here. I just imported that from... Uh, I think that was Bright Sands actually. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. Bright Sands. Yes. So we are currently importing that, and I Our also went ahead and imported an bread, tallow, and I also got a hot sauce, which you can produce in the New World. A competitor's island is under sea. So let's unlock that as well. But this will provide us with a lot of population, basically a full house here. That's uh, five, eight, yeah, eight more people. And they will also get oil lamps. The next thing they would need is schnapps, which we definitely could provide. I will uh, take a look uh, at that very soon. But before we do that, I think it's actually time to see if uh, anybody is willing to upgrade here. Just need one more population here so what I usually do is I get the ones here in the middle to upgrade to technicians oh and we're all out of wood good thing we thought about that continue and I do believe you need more technicians than you think but you have to save a few of the explorers to actually get this running here yeah, let's get a few more so with that we will uh, I can still feel some of my limbs. Yeah. So with that, uh, we actually unlock new stuff here. Post office, 
which is kind of weird how they managed to do that. I saved this spot here for the post office. We don't have enough wood hey, here. Uh, so let's get the wood here. The planks. Post office. So this is kind of a weird mechanic, but you get post office here as a need. But you also get that as a life style need so you can unlock that as well and that goes with the explorers too so let's go there and unlock the both of them out of control and the next thing they will need the is canned food which will leadership. of course provide schnapps and parkas parkas is new they require beer hunting cabins and they also require seal hunting, which none of those we have here. If you don't want to provide them with that, provide them at least with schnapps. This spoon drift character has no scientific credentials whatsoever. And yet, and maybe rum. Instead, that is very easy to produce as well. You'll be the just fine without withstood the, an the attack. Uh, You'll be fine without the parkas. So if you don't want to, so for example, if we don't have any beer, a uh, beer, bear, we don't have any bear here. Uh, but this place actually do. So we could go ahead and do some more stuff. So this will basically be a full production island. We'll produce stuff like this. So uh, 30, okay. So all we need is actually a one bear hunting ground. And that's basically it. Uh, so let's get that there. Ooh, that is not good. So here you actually have to be somewhat Fire. Think Left a bit with behind. the where you place the coal here. Uh, yeah, that seems a lot better. And then we can actually uh, place this like there. Yeah, yeah. Nothing major. Nothing major. But then they also need. So I will go ahead and fix, set up this. I will also, uh, where's the island? Here we are. I will also uh, get schnapps going. So we can get that going as well. I will also take a look on importing canned food. Maybe we Ship can import rum, dynamite. Yeah, it's a bit of a hassle, but we can probably do that as well. Motors, I would not recommend because you have so much better use of that rather than use it here because what you get is five technicians no coins uh, I think you can get one coin if you're playing on easy and you get some heat mescal yeah you could probably do that that's not too hard either all right so let's get to work and we'll see what we come up with all right, so now we have coffee, we have canned food, we also did get rum, we get some dynamite going here, real nice, and schnapps, that's one. So one thing you could do to ease your pain here is to place one of these Arctic Lodge. They work uh, just as trade unions and town hall together combined to one building. And there's a variety of good items you could use here. For example, uh, this. So um, you could have your pemmican here, pemmican house, and they will also provide you with uh, lamps if it's hard to get brass uh, 
And these are especially good because they will this will reduce the consumption by 30% for sleeping bags. Yeah, of course, want to have one of those. Uh, I think there's another one. Uh, reduce the need of pemmican by 30%. Yeah, sure. And here we go. So we ease up uh, how much we need of everything here. I think we producing enough anyway, but if you want to grow more, there's an easy way to do that. Parkas is, yeah, it's a bit low. That's uh, because of the bears. All right. And well, they, that will be sufficient. So now we can produce husky sleds. And that is the final building that we need. Uh, so let's get a husky sled over there. And a husky farm. Yeah, we can squeeze that in here. Or so I thought. Yeah, that is only for the wood construction. So, in order to maximize, I think you need two, yeah. But given the small amount of houses we have, I think you will be good to go with just one. Yeah, because they will, they don't even consume one. So, you only need to produce a small amount of everything here. Uh, yeah, let's get that there. This is an exception. And there we go. And wood. I think we got plenty of wood anyway. No strings. And as soon as that hits, a thank you fold for timber. Full of timber here. And yeah, we can actually do this right now. There we go. So this building will not continue to produce, but this will, because we need those for. Uh, what's the the sleds. We're short on parts. Right, so that will actually be it. And here you go, a nice looking place here. Small encampment here. An exploration the, uh, unit in can act as wind breaks if need be. <laughs> in the Arctic. Uh, we provide all of the goods here. And uh, this will come very soon. And most of the lifestyle need or half of it at least so what you could do is actually build uh, the airship platform does that require heat no it does not so that is actually amazing so what we could do to boost the population even further is stuff like this and get our hands on some sub bricks yeah bricks and also some more timber of course let's provide that we got all the timber we need and we can increase the population even further. Uh, this is not a place where you gain huge amount of money. Just some few bits and pieces here. But you could gain some money if you take a look at this place. It barely makes up. So this is not a money making method. So you might wonder why would you build you anything no here. Base for poker. So one thing would be to be able to build on a platform here, because you cannot, you have to provide everything, because you cannot grow or manufacture anything on the platforms. So everything needs to be imported here, but you do this in order to get gas. Where to? And the other thing is... 
for example. Uh, bear fur. Because that is need needed for the investors as a lifestyle need. And that provides a lot of good stuff. And also things like caribou meat is also something that you could use for your tourists. With you as nurse, I knew they'd get well soon. And gain access to really good cafes and restaurants and stuff like that. So if we take a look at one of the investors here. Ah, this really is yeah, as you can see. The high life. They pay a huge amount of money and also pro provide you with a lot of population. 25 for one item. So that it could be was important to do that. And also the restaurants. Let's see if we can find a restaurant here. Surely you'll join uh, me for that's a small bar. Room. Um, don't we have a restaurant here? There's a restaurant. How about a canapé? Let's take a look here. It's a normal stuff. Here we go. I like to have a finger in every pie. So that is something that you could use. To get some real nice bonus effects and also a lot of happiness. Engineers. So there's it's of course a lot of stuff that you can gain Rome, from doing that. Pour... And also it's a good way to boost your population in general. It's not a lot of people, but that will probably be around 2,000 or so. No, 180 for this small amount, but you know, it goes pretty fast. And once we get this up and running, uh, you will gain even more population. Six per, re uh, no, the overseas mail. Ten more population per household. I hope we do no harm to for the these guys. Yeah, that's four really good so I hope this will help you build in this region very nice and easy setup uh, something I forgot to talk about is prime hunting cabins so you can use these to gain I think you gain twice as many furs or it could be four times as many furs actually is that one minute or third second production anyway uh, you you can produce a lot of furs really fast if you do that right here and the same goes with gold mines that actually is a one minute production instead of instead of uh, 230 which I think it's in the new world and that can help you gain access to luxurious goods like pocket watches and jewelry so yeah hope that helps and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye